Hi guys, it is Vincent and I have some exciting news today. First of all, the setup that I have right now is much better than usual. I have a microphone now. I have my webcam set up, so we actually have everything in one place coming from sources that aren't like my shitty Android phone. Um, so that's very exciting. But what is even more exciting is that I have just opened up my Etsy shop. I've been unemployed for about three months and uh, kind of building up to doing this. Obviously for the first uh, month, month and a half, I was in school so I didn't really have time to get things set up and then I was moving and everything has just been like a little bit chaotic and my mental health has been doing a little fun little roller coaster thing, um, but I realized how close it was getting to uh, either losing my unemployment benefits or having to go back to the retail job that I had been working and with everything that's going on with my mental health I really just don't feel like I'm in a place where I can go back to that and feel like okay and good about it and I've been wanting to be fully self-employed for years I realized I think during my gap year that uh, that is really like the happiest scenario for me to be working. Um, I, I'm very self-motivated, so like that isn't an issue. It's just a matter of finding the market and the uh, time to put into doing it so that I can uh, make a living, really. I've been in this place where I've uh, just really wanted to make stuff um, and just have fun with it, really, and I've been doing commissions here or there for the last couple months, which has been uh, a nice little supplemental income, um, but I wanted to finally have a place to post everything. Um, I'm, I'm not skilled or organized enough right now to like make my own website, so I figured that like Etsy was probably the way to go uh, that would look professional and nice for you guys. So right now I just have a couple listings up and they are for some of the custom clothing that I've been making. I do hand embroidered and printed shirts. Um, not all shirts, but all the ones that are up there right now are shirts. Um, kind of in the vein of the alternative fashion stuff that I like, but I um, experiment a lot with that stuff. So no piece is the same, they're all one of a kind. I'm always open for custom pieces. You can DM me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you like um, if you are interested in that and I can get you like a quote and we can work something out. I'm almost always open for commissions of any kind, um, but I really enjoy doing custom clothing for people. Um, the other thing that I have been having a lot of fun with lately are plushy backpacks. This is one that I just finished recently that is, for me, actually, I think I'm going to be keeping this one. Um, I love pigs. I just think they're so cute. Um, the first one that I did is up for sale right now. I'll show it to you here in a second. But after that one, they've all had a zipper closure and the whole abdomen is the bag so you can fit phone, wallet, keys in there and all that good stuff. This guy is currently up for sale. He has a much smaller pouch because like I said, this is the first one that I made and um, there's a little bit of trial and error going on. Um, so you cannot quite fit a phone in here, but you could fit keys in a small wallet maybe, um, partially because it is Velcro instead of a zipper. But this guy is already up for sale if you are interested in him. And while I'm at it, just to throw out an example of the clothing that I make. This is a shirt that I have up for sale right now. Oh, that blew out my camera exposure really badly. Um, but this is hand embroidered and it has block printed designs on the sleeves as well. And whenever I make a big drop on Etsy, I plan on posting a, vi a video for you guys so that you can see uh, kind of firsthand all the features and stuff in action. Because I feel like photos don't always do it justice if you're trying to figure out like how something hangs and fits or like how big the pouch is. If I can just turn it around and show you and stuff um, right next to my head so you can see how big it is, I think that will be very nice. So this feels very kind of vulnerable and uh, scary to do because it's been something that I've kind of been putting off for a long time because I'm scared that it will flop. But I am excited to be going at it finally and I really hope that I can get this kicked off. Um, like I said, it's been a dream of mine for a long time. And um, I've been like 
halfway self-employed for quite a long time, but I never really took the extra steps to like make it a full-time hustle, and that's what I really, really want to do. So if you have the interest and or the funds, um, please check it out. And uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter for just regular updates and uh, work in progress photos on stuff if you want to stay updated on what I'm doing. And uh, any of that stuff that you can do is much appreciated. It all helps for sure. So thank you for watching. Wish me luck and I hope you have a good one.